Welcome to ITE 115, the, uh, the Excel project part one. I am your instructor, Bob Dust. What we're going to do in this part uh, is to illustrate how to start with your Excel project. And if you remember, I'm doing mine on full stack developers and application programmers. So we'll look at this. I have gathered some data from the uh, Department of Labor Statistics. These are the jobs that in the next 10 years, the Department of Labor Statistics anticipates uh, significant job growth and uh, the number of employees that will be hired. So column C is the 2018 number. These are in thousands. So there should be personal aid, care aids, um, or currently there are 2,421,000 and in 10 years they anticipate 3.3 million jobs. Uh, again, this, these are the current numbers as of the time of this recording. So these are the numbers in the column E is the median average or average annual wage in 2018. The footnote just says this data came from the Occupational Employment Statistics Program, the U.S. Department of Labor Statistics. So again, this is how many we have employed now, how many we anticipate having in 10 years, and what the current wage is. So the first thing I want to do is highlight a column because that's one of the requirements. I'm going to select the 2028 data and we will come in here to our home and I'm going to fill this with a light green color. If you remember again from the requirements, we want to highlight one of the columns and one of the significant columns here. How much growth do we anticipate in the next 10 years? Now the next thing I want to do is I want to calculate the difference between these two numbers and I want to calculate the percentage of growth we anticipate. So I am going to insert two columns after column D and before E. I'm going to uh, go to home, insert columns. So I have two columns here and what I want to have over here whoops, is Um, I want the change. Oh, I don't want, oh shoot. I don't want the green in here. I'm going to get rid of that. I'm going to go to home and change my flow back to white. And I will make this change 2018-2028. And we'll make this number and percent. I want to merge these two columns here, E and F, and center, so we have that. So this would be the change. One of the requirements for project one is to have a calculated column. I would do that here. This will be equal to D4 minus C4. We're anticipating 881,000 new jobs here. The percent will be equal to E4 divided by C4. That's my percent. And you show this as a percentage. And we should have 36%. Now I want to copy these two columns all the way down to the bottom down here until I get to there and we'll let go. So we can now see we have 881,000 new jobs anticipated for personal care age, 305,000 for home health age, age and so forth. And then the percentage. So another requirement we have is to have conditional formatting. So I want to know every job that anticipates more than 100,000 new jobs in the next 10 years. So I will select that. I'm going to my home, 
conditional formatting, highlight cells greater than 100. And we'll do a light yellow here. And we now see these cells are highlighted because they have the highest growth rate uh, over the next 10 years. The next thing I want to do is I want to do something similar, but I want to know which jobs are the highest paying. Because growth without pay is not so great. So let's come in here. We're going to conditional formatting. Same thing. This time, I'm going to put, I want to know everything more than $90,000. We'll leave it light red, fill. And now we see the jobs that stand out to us because they are more than $90,000. So these are the ones with the most growth. These are the ones that are the highest paid. Now I want to add a couple more columns over here. I want to know what the demand is, total dollars. I'm going to multiply the current employment times the current annual wage. We put that in here. This will be equal to C4 times G4. And I get a value of $58 billion because these are in thousands. $58 billion. I'm going to put in 2018, 2028, and we'll give this a title of Demand Dollar. I will do a little light formatting here. I'm going to select this, do Merge and Center, and I'm going to put a border around it. And I'll do the same thing for that. I'll put a border around that as well. And we'll make all this bold. So that's what we did here. Now for this one, it could be similar. But now I'm going to multiply the 2028 numbers equal D4 times G4. And I have $79 billion is the um, projected total salaries in the year 2028 for personal care aides. Again, that is based upon 2018 salary ranges. So let's select these two. We'll drag and drop them down, drag it down. And we'll go to here. And let's make this. I'm going to double click that edge there, and that makes it uh, align with the, uh, or make the width, the width of the biggest number. So there's our numbers for that. Uh, we can see we're starting to get some numbers in here. So now I want to see the Numbers in here where the demand is greater than $50 billion. I'm going to do that. One more conditional formatting. Again, sales greater than uh, 50, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. I'm going to make this uh, custom. I'm going to make this light blue. Oops, that looks green. That looks blue. There we go. And OK. And now we see we have three that stand out here. Next, I want to calculate what will be the increase in total dollar demand by job. And to do that, I'm going to multiply equal E4, which is the increase. I'm sorry. No, I want to, uh, I'm sorry. I want to subtract. 
I'm going to have I4 minus H4, which will give me $21 billion increase. Let's say projected dollar increase. This is how much more our, I'm going to make this the right width, make this bold. And we'll put a border around all this. Make it look pretty. So now we have, we are expecting $21 billion increase in personal care aids. Let's uh, drag that down. And we see we're getting some healthy looking numbers here. I guess, so this is the amount increase that is going to be the demand in 2028 minus the demand in 2018. Again, in constant dollars, keep that in mind. You're expecting a lot of growth here in personal care aids. Next, I want to uh, combine the conditional formatting for column E and column G. So I want everything that is greater than 100,000 and everything that pays more than 90,000. Let's put a conditional formatting in here. And this is going to be a little different. And I'm not sure your book covers this. And you don't have to do this in project. I just want you to see how we do this. I'm going to add a conditional formatting. And it's going to be um, a new rule. I'm going to use a formula to determine it. Let me move this top. And the formula values where this condition is true, it's going to be and. So I have two conditions here where C, I'm sorry, D4 greater than, no, I'm sorry, E4. E4 greater than 100, comma, and I want G4 greater than 90,000. And to format this, I want my color to be green. We say OK, OK, and Okay, so this is format for everything that is both the yellow over here and the pink over here. So these are jobs with anticipating a lot of growth in the number of employees hired and that pays well. It's a perfect combination here. A lot of demand and high pay. And if you notice, da da. Look what we have. Software developers and application, only one job meets that criteria. Uh, which is no surprise because that's what my topic is on. I hope you can see from this how we took some drab boring data, which was just these first four columns uh, and G, and made it something a little more interesting because we're highlighting the number of new jobs. I'm sorry, the number, total number of jobs anticipated, the ones that is, have the highest demand, the ones that pay the best, uh, the ones with a lot of growth over here, which is a combination of these two, and then of course the one with the projected dollar increase, and we have $25 billion in increase salaries for software developers and application. So this concludes part one um, our Excel project. There will be others uh, coming up shortly, but this will get you sorted for now. Hope you enjoyed it.